a little something about Raymond. He's an investor in stocks and rooms. He wants no money from you, no bait and switch, nothing. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to log into his personal account, share real estate property documents, and give you suggestions on what to read. I am Raymond, and it's all about stocks and rentals. And before I jump into this video about opening your first brokerage account, I have a favor to ask. Did you know if you hit that subscribe, like, and share button right now on this video, it helps me to keep helping you. Everything I do is for free and it's free and easy for you to hit those buttons right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a couple of places where you can open up your brokerage account. And the good thing is that you can do it online but all these places, they have physical locations. I believe it's always good to have the option to talk to someone face to face. To open up an account, they're going to want to know your name, your address, social security number. They're going to need a phone number and they want to know how you're going to put some money in the account. You might have some questions for them. If you are into crypto trading, you want to make sure that they can support all the different type of cryptocurrencies you might want to trade. I open up my account at Fidelity. So let's go there. And the reason I open up my account at Fidelity, that's where all my 401ks are. I have 401ks from GM and GE. I always think it's a good idea to have all your investment accounts in one place. One thing I like about Fidelity, if you have an ATM card, you can use that ATM card at any ATM machine. And if they have fees, Fidelity will reimburse you for the fee. So if you are in a gas station and you're using a no name ATM machine and they want to charge you $5.50 to get $5. <laughs> Fidelity is going to reimburse you that $5.50 and you get the money back the same day. Here are some other places that have physical locations. You have Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade. Maybe you've seen those where you live. Wells Fargo, JP Morgan. Now I haven't seen a JP Morgan, I guess like office or sign. However, if you go into Chase Bank, they have JP Morgan. So you could go there, open up your account if you don't want to do it online, and you can go ahead and fund it. And they have a special right now. If you go and open up the account, they're going to fund it with $700. Bank of America, if you go into one of those branches, they use Merrill Lynch. They also have a special where they're going to fund your account with $600. There will be a link down below in the description that would take you to all the videos that will help you determine how to invest in the stock market. I'm Raymond, Stocks and Rentals. Come on, push the button. Yeah, come on, push the button up. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button.